snow started and it's been coming in a bit heavy now. Quarter past six. I am not looking forward to getting out of this tent. When it gets lighter, I'm going to put all my clothes on, coat, ski goggles, hell! <laughs> Hello! Back out again. It's just a few days after the snowy camp on the Glidders, which was a little bit of a surprise. And now I'm back in the beautiful Lake District. Solo today. It's a late start. It's about two o'clock or just after two o'clock. And I decided this morning I'm, I need to keep on the roll, keep getting out. So yeah, I've headed to the Lake District. I didn't really know where I was going. On my way here, I was still deciding. Shout out to Andy Beavers. I ran a place past him that I know he's camped at before. And he gave me a little bit of information. So I think I'm heading up to the Dodds, just next to the Helvellyn range. Haven't been up there before. We can tick off some Wainwrights. So yeah, I'll take you with me. I hope you enjoyed that last video as well. It was such an epic camp. Didn't expect that weather. And it's everything I've wanted and more. So I had to come back out with the snow today. I've got a new tent as well. Yes, yet another new tent. It's about eight I've got now. Picked it up last night. Perfect for this camp. I'll show you that a little bit later. I'll tell you what, you know the tops are sunny. When coming down this hill now, is a guy with skis, I am not joking. We'll go and find out if he's done any skiing today. Morning, you all right? Did you get more skiing done up there? Been skinning up, I uh, got up to Great Dodd. The bit on this side of Great Dodd was all right. Not enough snow really, but it's more snow than a grass field though. God, wow. Most snow I'm gonna see this week anyway. Yeah, I couldn't believe it when I saw that. I thought, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's quite a few going up, right? There's a sheep fold just over the brow, and then you'll be able to see right up onto the top. Oh, perfect. Yeah. That's great, have a good day. I had to choose a bit of a shorter route though today. We're setting off so late. I'm not too sure how many dots I'll get across today, but we'll get up there to the first one, check the time, and as long as we're good to go, we'll keep going. Look at the beautiful views, winter wonderland. Heavy pack today, full winter gear. I've got my ice axe, I've got my Spikes, I've not got them on yet because it's still a bit rocky, but we may need those a little bit later. Do not come out in the snow if you haven't got spikes. There's absolutely no excuse. You can get them off Amazon for like 12, 15 quid. Might not be the best quality, but they're better than nothing. And otherwise you're easily going to slip up here. So in winter, you should always have them. Maybe I'll link, leave some links below to some, not affiliated, but if you haven't got any, let that be your next purchase. A steep one. Whew. That's what I'm walking up now. Yeah, straight up and up. See some people at the bottom down here, and I've parked just over here. It's warm though when you've got the sun in your face. I've just got my boots on at the moment, I've not got my spikes on. It's a touch slippy, but it doesn't warrant my spikes yet. Enjoying it though. Get the blood pumping. I'm just thinking as well, my, my pack's probably 13, 14 kilo, no water because I've got my spikes, I've got my ice axe, I've got my new tent, winter sleeping bag, I've got my mat on top this time. Because when I was on the glitters, I did feel a little bit of cold underneath, because if, you, if you're on snow, which will be today, you just feel it coming through. Luckily my tent's got a nice thick bottom and thicker ground sheet anyway, but I thought when I get my tent, it's just great to roll this out, sit on this, and put my mat up a little bit later. Seems to have levelled off a little bit now for the next little climb. Quick blast of the electrolytes.
what I'm gonna have to do now, actually, I'm probably gonna have to check a map. I don't know if you can see it on my map, but we're here, and as we get to the top of Sticks Pass, it looks like there's a there's water just below, so it should be to our right hand side, Sticks Gill. That's where we'll get water towards the top. That couple's just gone past me, and I was just talking to them, and they asked me what I was doing today, and they said, oh, as you get to the top up here, it's really windy. <laughs> so, I mean, it's perfectly calm here, it's beautiful. So when we get up there, I might have to hunker down, hat, jacket, we'll see. There's just no chance you can wear all that coming up here. Carrying this weight as well, up a steep hill, you generate so much heat. But I need to be mindful of the wind as well, because I obviously don't want to be pitching in the harshest wind because it's strong tomorrow as well, tomorrow morning. <sighs> oh, you enjoy the calm while it lasts. Just looking over at the beautiful mountains. You see Scarfells in the distance, just over the, just over the peak. How deep it is. <laughs> oh. Yeah, there's really no excuse not for having snow spikes. Mine are just cheap ones off Amazon. Here they are, but one they're on your boots, they make a massive difference. You see, there they go. And then you've got a little strap just to keep them on, just keep them nice and tight. Much better, much better grip as well now I've got these on. The skier again just said, careful up there, it's windy again. I have to get my gloves on soon, a bit nippy. Absolutely stunning. This is where we were when we went up to Helvellyn, on the tops over there. Give me a Bisco Light 1, a Bisco Light 3. As I say, a different tent today. And it was expensive, but peace of mind, so I justify it. Does it get any better than this? <laughs> oh, beautiful. What a day to be alive. You can see the gill to the right. This is where I'm hoping, oh God, I'm hoping there's gonna be a little bit of running water we can break through. <laughs> <Hello>. <laughs> Love it. Make me famous. <laughs> <laughs> Just spotted these skiers. It turns out Tom runs Atom Packs or owns Atom Packs. Yeah. So yeah, great, well, great spot. <laughs> <laughs> Hard work, isn't it? <laughs> took an exhaustive day. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. Really late. <laughs> yeah, don't blame you. I always work this. in product testing. Thank <laughs> you. He's got one. I've got one. You've yeah. got one. You knew you were going to be. Here. I'll stay, stay on here as well, so I might have a. <laughs> Fancy that? So a guy was skiing past me and he uh, <laughs> and he shouted, is that an Atom Packs? I said, yeah. I said, oh, I love it. I said, I've had it for ages. And he, he said, oh, Tom's Tom's just up there. So I've just hung on for him coming down on his snowboard. So I'd love to meet you, Tom. As you all know, you've seen it on this channel loads. I've had this Atom Packs for, I bought it from my coast to coast last year and it was absolutely brilliant. I've loved it. It's quite full today. They've still got more space in the top, but I have noticed, this is the Mo 50, and I have noticed to do a 60 litre. Can't justify spending again just for an extra 10 litre, but yeah, the extra 10 litre would be handy for winter camping, I must admit. But the 50 litre, I'd use that on my long distance hikes again and again. Fits well, 
you've got your water bottles you can reach around the back as well loads of room it's great oh it's hard going on the legs this and I've not made much more progress since my last filming so let's get to the top of this gill and check if there's any water I can hear the water still running I don't know how high it starts from though I don't want to have to go down there I'll keep looking Yes What I tend to do as well when I carry this I tend to put a load of things in it I've got a bar in there, I have my pocket 3 in there Cold the water though. That's one litre. Right, so that's two litres of water. I'm going to drink my electrolytes and fill this up. Water. Sun's getting low, I need to hurry up and find somewhere to pitch. I think that's where we're supposed to be heading. The weather's going to be coming in from behind. So I'm actually just going to have a look to see if there's anywhere just over this dip. Because there's going to be epic views and I should just be out of the wind. Just going to have a little look over here. to do let me check my map and see how far this dot is i don't know if you can see where we are see the arrow sidebar arrow, arrow dot just there we're gonna have to go for it we can't come all this way and not make it up just chasing the light now though it's 10 to 4 Whew. racing against the sun Sunsets in 20 minutes. I just want to get up there before it gets dark. Oh wow, look at the view. I know it's windy, but look at the view. Sky Barrow Dodd. Valley range over there. Skidor in the distance over Keswick. Look at the snow drifts. Oh, actually, that was just a little cairn. That isn't Sky Barrow Dodd. Balls. This is Sky Barrow Dodd, I think. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, that's just a cairn, idiot. It's getting windy now though, and icy and cold. Whoa. Let's go and touch the cairn. This is the summit of Sky Barrow Dodd. Looks like a wall over there, so let's see. There we go. So, because the wind's coming from behind me, we want to get on this side of the ridge a little bit. Just if we can just drop down just a touch. Yeah, if we can get on the other side of this wall behind that little mound, that would be ideal. Somewhere here. Just a touch of shelter. We can maybe get in here somewhere. Maybe even right next to the shelter here. 
maybe here. Just hope we can get the pegs in. Spoiler. <laughs> this is going to be the challenge, getting the pegs in, I think. Need a rock to bash them. <sighs> so, as you probably see, it's the Hilleberg. Sulu or Solo. So this should be fine for the conditions up here. Man, that took some effort. Sorry for stopping filming there. Some of the pegs are quite long, but they're in, as you can see. But they're in enough. Got a little bit of shelter from the wall here. Probably need to ease off this one a little bit. It's freezing. Let me get inside the tent and get my stuff squared away, and I'll bring you back. Oh, so much warmer in here. I've taken my spikes off and they're showing me set up here. I've got this really good. I've, there's a company online that I've been speaking to and I got them to send me some um, samples. And because you can't get nylon flume bags in the UK, I've got these other alternative bags and it's massive. It's about, oh, I guess it's about 90 litre. It's a massive bag, but super lightweight. And I use that in my bag as a dry sack. But then after it, you can take it out and put all your pack in it. So your pack's not going to get wet. I've got my nice winter quilt today because Kay's not with me. So I get to bring this one. And it's the OEX Leviathan 900. My X-Bed Mega Pillow. Love this. And look, my ice is freezing up already. I've got, so I've got plenty of water. Might get my little puffy jacket on just to keep warm. I brought two down jackets just to make sure I stay nice and warm. Nothing worse than being miserable and cold. I brought this today, so I don't have to get up in the night and have a wee. I've got two head torches, so I've got my Nightcore NU25. It's super lightweight. I've got my Trust Fire Mega Torch as well. This is fantastic. And again, if the shit hits the fan any time and I've got to get off this mountain at night, this, you're not going to see far in this. I think this is 300 lumens at its max. This is 1300. It's super, super bright. So it's quite heavy, but not too bad. It's got really good adjustment on it when it's on your head. It does have a top strap, but I took it off. I don't, not really a fan of those. So that's on its lowest. That's second, third, fourth. And it's, I mean, you can see the beam. It's absolutely brilliant. If you hold it down, you get your red light, again, which is important. And this is your flood. So you've got two levels of flood and that your flood light is just it just casts a soft big bigger light everywhere which is which is really handy and then you've got your sos as well so i've got two go-to torches this is my lightweight one and just for knocking around camp and this is for when i'm hiking basically or i want to see further i've got a light for filming tonight as well little you landsy thing i've got oh there we go how's that and that's just one level of brightness and we've got another one and another one and another one to light everything up so this is going to be great for filming. Here we are all set up. Oh, it's freezing. It should look good. I love it. 
massive fan. It's cold. It's freezing. Hell Valley in the background there. And here's my little setup. So here's my drinks for tonight. Look, freezing already. So there's my water. The Vine Foam Quill, Xtherm. I've got my Revolution Race waffle pants, which I will get on in a minute. As I say, there's a pillow. I've got a bag of dust. I've got a down jacket. I've got my electricals and I've got my Catadine B free, free filter in there, but that'll go in the bottom of the bag. A spare pair of socks to put on. Got my stove, which you've seen before. I have brought my x boil an alcohol stove, but I forgot the alcohol. So luckily I did bring my MSI wind burner and a gas as well. And we've got meal for tonight. It's just a dehydrated meal. I actually tried to buy some on the way, but I couldn't find any. Expedition foods, couscous, so not the best, but it'll do. Gloves and a cup for a brew and a coffee. Right, so let me get in the tent. It's so much better when you're in there. I'm not gonna get a brew on. I just thought I'd show you one little modification I made. I only got the tent last night and I set it up quickly about 10 o'clock in my flat last night. And the one thing I did, you probably notice, no jingling of the zips. <laughs> I taped literally every single, <laughs> every single zip. So just electrical tape, look, even these ones, these ones. Because I don't know if you know, but with Hillebergs, they're an absolute nightmare for jingling zips. And even though I'd not been out in the tent yet, I was not putting up with that. I'll tell you what, it's a good job I decided to bring gas as well because I forgot my alcohol. MSI wind burner, if you haven't seen one of these, it kind of squidges together, it sl slides on your pot. Good base for a, you know, if you're gonna cook, a frying pan and things like that. You don't need this on, but I always put a little tag on the top just to make it easier to pull it off. Really happy with the tent. For someone who owns a lot of tents, and I love my gear, I am super impressed with the quality. It's bigger than I thought it was going to be. I know it's a solo tent, and when I went round to the guy's house last night, he had it pitched up, and it just shot me straight away. I was like, oh my God, it's bigger. I've never seen one before properly. I was like, this is great. It's higher than I thought. Materials are good. The way the doors latch back, this is the best I've seen on any tent. It's super easy, and it's super tight as well. You get these tents now where you put them on and all oh, this is falling out and falling down and it's crap. So yeah, I really like it. I need to put a little washing line up. I didn't have time to do that. That's not gonna make itself, Chris. Boom. Right, I might shut this door a little bit and have a little chill. It's only it's only 25 past five. We've got a long night ahead. Getting a bit blustery now. I've got my little temperature gauge, minus 4.5. And yeah, I'm just enjoying life up here. I love listening to the wind outside, knowing that I'm safe in here. And to be fair, that was one of the main reasons for buying this tent, just for peace of mind. They're built for these conditions. Yes, there's a black label version, but the red label's perfectly good enough for me. Love it, love it, love it. A little bit expensive, but worth it. Can hardly move in this sleeping bag because I've got loads of stuff in there already to keep warm. The difference in this compared to that other one, this is so much better. Right, I'm gonna leave you be. I'll probably bring you back a little bit later when I'm having some dinner. Oh my God. I must admit I'm worried about these pegs because they're only half in. Hopefully I've got no reason to worry, but I think what I will do as well, I'll keep my stuff together anyway and keep my head torch there just in case anything does go tits up and I've got to get off it. <laughs> but I really, really do not want to get off or come down in this, obviously, so I think we're just going to have to, have to, have to face it. Oh, it doesn't look great out there, does it? <laughs> Minus 4.7. I've got these for tomorrow. My ski goggles, so glad I brought those. I've got my ice axe as well for tomorrow. That might be handy just for them coming down the hill just to, just to dig in. And my spikes, I haven't checked the guy lines. 
I'm hoping they're going to be okay. If there's any drop in the wind for a little bit, maybe I'll get out in a bit and have a little look. But yeah, nice and toasty at the moment, so I don't, it doesn't really make sense. Right, let me shut up waffling and get some food on. Well, that's not ideal. I've just spilled that all over the tent. Idiot. Make sure this is sealed. I don't want red hot water leaking all over me. Apologies for the mic, but we put it, you put it down your top. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I must admit, I've enjoyed having that stuff down my top. So much food in here. I mean, to be fair, there's no part of showing it here. It's couscous, but... As far as couscous goes, it's very tasty. There's a bit of spice to it need something else with it for me a bit of protein chicken sausages Ooh, or heck sausages love some of those now it's 20 to 10 so i'm going to eat this and then i'm just going to settle in for the night so unless there's any major drama in the night or any clips i can kind of get of the tent blowing i will see you on the morrow well it's quarter past two in the morning so you can hear what it's like. The snow started and it's been coming in a bit heavy now. Tomorrow should be fun. <laughs> Got a laugh on you, what else can you do? I am not looking forward to getting out of this tent in a couple of hours. Nothing you can do though, just got to wait. When it gets lighter, I'm gonna put all my clothes on so I'm nice and warm, coat, ski goggles, hell. <laughs> I'll bring you back when it's light. It's half past seven in the morning. There is a little bit of a sunrise in the distance. I'm not getting out just yet. I'll try and show you. I can't believe that that peg's held. Anyway, let's wait another half an hour and then I'm getting off here. Somehow I've got to put this away. Ooh. Right, let's do this. I'm not going to film it. I'll let you know when it's down. You probably can't hear me, but you leave no trace. I'm glad I brought this today. I've got my ice axe, which I'll be using on the way down because it's very icy. Sun, sunrise is just behind there. We're not going to see it, it's all flagged in.
is that any better? So that point up there, that's Rays, and that's where we've come from over in that direction. And I've just passed the point where I walked past Tom from Atom Packs yesterday. The gear I've got on is perfect. I'm lovely and warm. I've got my heat warmers base layer on, my Revolution Race base layers on, my wrap pants and my waterproof pants. These waterproof pants, by the way, are excellent. I use them on the OM, the Everdict from Decathlon. They're out of stock at the moment, but if you go on Debenham's website, it's the same company, so you can get them on there as well. Uh, 40 quid. I've just had to buy a new pair because unfortunately, um, Kay fell last time she split them. I mean, the main thing is she's all right, but I've had to get a new pair, so I bought her a pair as well. I've obviously got my spikes, which I wouldn't be able to do this without it. Down jacket. If anything, I'm possibly too warm. But I'd rather have too warm than too cold. ice axe just in case just so you can dig it in it every now and then just to slow your descent down a little bit like you'd use a trekking pole <sighs> oh that was a wild camp, snowy wild camp on Sky Barrow Dodd in the Lake District. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please drop a like, it helps more people see it. And leave a comment below. And obviously, if you subscribed already, brilliant. The next video should be out next week. And if this is the first time to the channel and you enjoyed this and want to see more, just drop a subscribe. It takes two seconds and you'll just be notified when I release a new video. So for now, from the Lake District and from me, See you in the next one. Peace.